News, Nairobi. A very interesting list out there, and of course, my guest later will be talking about it and why there are so many names we expected, but they are missing. Let's move on first to the Salaries and Remuneration Commission, which has defended its move to approve a 4.5 billion shilling car grant for the members of the county assemblies around the country. Now, SRC chairperson Lynn Mengich says the review was not based on a political directive. Now, the approval came less than two weeks after President Huru Kenyatta assured the members of the county assemblies they will each get a two million shilling car grant. Our senior reporter Rita Tanina tells us what the grant is about and why the MCAs will not be paying back that money. After a seven year push for car grants, the country's 2,222 members of county assembly finally have what they wanted. The commission approved a conversion of the car loan to a car grant. The approval comes less than two weeks after President Uhuru Kenyatta gave in to demands by MCAs for car grants during a tour to popularize the BBI in the Mount Kenya region. County assemblies are in the process of considering the Constitution Amendment Bill. I don't believe that... Uh Leaders at the level of MCA should be bribed to make decisions. Already, CI and Kisumu have approved the bill. 24 counties are required to approve it to pave way for a referendum. It was not a review based on a directive. SRC says the review met principles set out in Article 230 of the Constitution and the SRC Act. One, that of fairness and equity for the MCAs who have the same county representation and legislative roles as members of parliament. The second principle of affordability and fiscal sustainability had not been met in previous requests for a review until last week's proposal by the Council of Governors, which came with a guarantee. That by converting the existing column to a car grant, there will be no additional funding required. That indeed it will be within the budget uh, for the current financial year. Speakers and members of county assembly who had secured car loans will not pay back the money. The car loan will cease. Um, the reason for that is because it is the funding that was available for the car loan that will now be used for the car grant. According to the SRC, MCAs who will be elected in next year's general election are not guaranteed of a car grant. The funding that has been confirmed by the Council of Governors can only take for that for, for the current uh, county assembly. So going forward, there's got to be a discussion around the funding. The conversion of the car loan to a car grant will be undertaken by county governments. Rita Tinina, KTN News. Well, former governor, first governor of Kiambu County, William Kabogo, will be speaking to me about several other issues. But let me put this question to him. Now that he was a governor, uh, Governor Kabogo, good to see you. The last time I saw you was on the other side. But let me put this straight. Uh, from what SRC is saying, from what the president is saying, it sounds like a presidential directive, but also it sounds like a bribe. Which is it to you? <laughs> you don't expect me to say it's a bribe. Uh, you tell me what you it is. No, yes. let me tell you. What, what's happening here, uh, Ken, is, is the fact that uh, um, it's the timing that looks suspicious because the president talked about it two weeks ago yeah. and it's happening. But remember, as they rightfully say, um, MPs do get this facility. They're representatives of the people. So that argument holds water. Yeah. But you know, everything is politics in this country. Everything so is politics. Everything is politics. Yes. It is when you pull the card. You understand? In politics, you have to be able to have some cards that you can pull as and when you need them. Okay. But in, in the issue of illegality, it doesn't, unless then we want to say that also the MP should be denied this facility. All right. In my mind, in the beginning, it was not necessary for MPs Even or to get the MCAs card. Okay. to get this facility. All right. That conversation. But now that it's been given to all of them, yes. so, so be it. All right. That conversation continues after a while. So let's stick to the top stories of the day before we go back to the first governor of Campbell County. And now we go to education sector where stakeholders are now or now want the government to invest more towards improving school infrastructure besides educating parents about